Soul Food Sunday. Written by Winsome Bingham. Illustrated by C.G. Esperanza. Recorded and edited by Dante Quinn. On Sundays, everyone gathers at Granny's for soul food. The whole family is here. Mamas and papas, aunts and uncles, nieces, nephews, and a whole lot of cousins. We park in the driveway and along the street. Car horns beep, car doors slam, and car alarms go click click. The men head to the basement except for Roscoe Ray. He's the grill master. He has a spot at the side of the house. Everything he needs is there. Grill, coal, lighter fluid, CD player, chair with an umbrella, and a tiny TV to watch football. Granny goes in the kitchen with Mama and her sisters and straps on an apron. The children sprint to the backyard or to the great room for video games. But today, I don't go to the backyard or the great room. I follow Granny instead. You're a big boy now, Granny says. Time for you to learn. She hands me Grandpa's chef jacket, the one he wore in the army. Put this on, baby, and come with me. Granny drops blocks of cheese on the table. White cheese, yellow cheese, orange cheese, holy cheese. We need a whole lot of cheese. Unless mac and cheese is on the table, it's not soul food Sunday. Mm -mm -mm. I love mac and cheese. Granny grates the cheese in a big blue bowl. Now, you hold the grater like this, baby. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Now you try. I grate. Up and down, up and down, up and down. You got it, baby, says Granny. Now when you're finished, come see me. I grate and grate and grate. My hand hurts, my arm aches, but I don't quit. Cheeses stack high like a mountain. I'm finished. Granny checks my work. Good job, baby. This is the best grated cheese I've seen in all my life. Greens is next. Granny pulls the greens from the bunch. We need clean greens. A whole lot of greens, baby. Unless greens is on the table, it's not Soul Food Sunday. Granny fills the sink with water and vinegar and lemon juice. Greens got to be clean, baby, she says, scrubbing and shaking. Collards, turnips, mustards. Granny rubs the leaves. They squish, 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 just like she was hand washing clothes. I don't cook grainy greens. This is the only way to get all the dirt out. She rinses over and over. She rolls them together. She rips them apart. Remember, you rinse and roll and rip, baby. Now you try. I stand in front of the sink. I rinse and roll and rip. You got it, baby, says Granny. Now when you're finished, come see me. I rinse and rinse and roll and roll and rip and rip and rip. My hand hurt, my arm aches, but I don't quit. Roscoe Ray needs help with the meats, says Granny. We cooking chicken and ribs and sausage. A whole lot of chicken and ribs, baby. Unless meat is on the table, it's not Soul Food Sunday. Granny slaps sausage and slabs of ribs in the sink. Pork ribs, beef ribs, hot and spicy sausage links. She skins the chicken, she strips the membrane from the ribs, and she slices the sausage. Did you see that, baby? says Granny. Now you try. We switch places. I skin the chicken, I strip the membrane, I slice the sausage. You got it, baby, says Granny. Now when you're finished, come see me. I skin and skin. I strip and strip, and slice and slice and slice. My hand hurt, my arm aches, but I don't quit. Soon chicken, ribs, and sausage stack up next to the sink. I'm finished. Granny checks my work. Good job, baby. That's the best looking meats I've seen in all my life. The grill is ready, Roscoe Ray yells. He scoops the meats in a pan and disappears through the side door. Well, everything is cooking now, Granny says. We take a break. I take a nap. Your mama God knows what she's about to do, but you go on outside and play. But I don't want to play. I want to make something special. Granny chuckles. Baby, every food we make is special. Soul Food Sunday is about coming together. It's about us being family and working together as a team. And we have everything, baby. Then I have an idea. I know something we forgot, I say. Do you need help, baby? 
No, I can do it all by myself. Well, I will leave you be. While Granny naps, I'm busy brewing. Dropping ice, dunking tea bags, sugaring and sweetening, lemoning and liming. And when I see Mama setting the food on the table, I put the jug next to the mac and cheese and greens and ribs and chicken and sausages. Granny comes down from her nap. I'm finished, I tell her. Granny sips. Is this what I think it is? Then she takes another sip, and a gulp, and two more gulps. This is the best tea I've tasted in all my life. Thank you, Granny, I say. Unless sweet tea is on the table, it's not Soul Food Sunday. Thank you for listening to this reading of Soul Food Sunday. From me and we win, we'll see you next time.